So this is organic unsalted butter. And for your first time, you can just start with two sticks. Uh, all, all you're gonna do is just turn it on low. This is a, this saucepan's a little big, but that's okay. Um, so what we're doing here is we are simmering the butter. We're getting rid of the water. And we are also, I'll turn that on in a second. We're getting rid of the water. And then also what's gonna happen is the milk solids, the protein solids are gonna sink to the bottom. And we'll be able to see that. Um, later on. So we're going to turn this on and then we'll let this simmer uh, for around 10 minutes. Okay. So this is, this is done. So what you're trying to do is you're, when you tilt it and you see some browning on the bottom, you're, you're pretty much done. So I'm going to turn off the heat and this has been about oh, five minutes and we only did two sticks of butter, so it was a lot quicker. Um, and so now we're gonna ladle it and we're gonna strain it. So this is my setup in general. When I, whenever I'm cooking and I'm straining something, I have my mason jar, which I love the ball jars. They're made in America. They're uh, very environmentally friendly. A, a stainless steel strainer, another stainless steel strainer. And then I'm gonna take just a spoonful and then I'm gonna jar it. And so this is pretty much it. So do you see that super beautiful golden color? It's really, really great. Yeah. Cool, so that's, that's about, it's about, this is a cup, so that's about eight ounces. So two sticks of butter make about eight ounces. And if you go to the store, eight ounces, two sticks of butter, this was like, you know, seven, seven dollars, which to some people might seem like a lot for butter. And, uh, but, sorry, when you go to the store, you'll see like eight ounces of ghee is like $12. So the fact that we just made this um, is a lot more economical. And then we'll wait till it cools, and then you can store this outside of the fridge for about six months, try to keep, try to not uh, put other liquids in there. If something has water on it or something, just put dry utensils in. Um, or if you don't feel like you're gonna use it very quickly, put it in the fridge. But um, if you feel like you're gonna use it within a couple months, you can just keep it out. So what do you, you primarily use this for? So I, I use this for cooking a lot. I also put maybe a teaspoon of ghee into my coffee in the morning. Um, for in Mongolia, they'll they'll uh, traditionally do like a butter tea, and so that's kind of the same thing that you're doing with your coffee is putting a little bit of ghee in, um, and also wanting to understand that ghee is traditionally from India, um, and it, in this idea of cooking and trying to get back to traditional foods, ghee falls in that category of traditional foods, and so um, I'm really happy to be able to to experience it and, and use it in my own kitchen. And are you replacing this for like olive oil and things at times? Um, I generally don't cook with olive oil. Olive oil is a monounsaturated fat um, and is good with, with medium heat, but you don't want to heat it too high. Um, so I generally feel better cooking with ghee and then with olive oil, I'll use that at the end. So maybe I'll steam some vegetables and then I'll drizzle some olive oil. Also too, because olive oil, nice extra virgin olive oil is really expensive. So I wanna be able to, to maintain that flavor. Um, and so I primarily cook with ghee or butter and then sometimes I'll do avocado or olive if I'm not going too, too high heat or coconut oil. Those, those are the main oils that I cook with at home. Okay. Yeah.